Well, hello. Welcome to the vlog. Whoa, dang. I look like a monster. Ugh. Today we're looking at something that was sent to me in the mail. It's this. And this. Oh, everybody likes this. But there's more. Mm -mm -mm. Look at this stuff. What is it, you might ask? Well, I don't know. We're gonna find out together. Although, I can't actually smoke any today. So instead, we're gonna save this for another video at a future date after my insurance interrogation. Instead, today, we're gonna do a little Blackburn update. Blackburn Homestead update. Basically, I have a collection of footage I've been shooting of the progress of the house and property. And I haven't said anything. I just walk around and film with my camera, which is usually what you film with, I mean. If you film with a toothbrush, it's it's lighter and it's more convenient. And it's better for your teeth, but it doesn't uh, it doesn't do the video side very well. So I used a camera, and uh, I'm just going to show you some stuff that we've done around Blackburn. One of the things we're really trying to do with the house this time is to take our time. The last time we did a renovation, we just blew through the thing every day and practically killed ourselves. This one, we know it's a little bit of a slower process, so we're we're taking some chill out days, which is what today will be. <sighs> Although chill out days nowadays mean lots of work, and work days mean you die. Ooh, fancy view. Hey, if you like these kind of videos, these little vloggy updates on the Blackburn property. Let me know in the comments. Keep updating you on all the fun around the farm. I'll also highlight things we find like this. This is what you watch YouTube for. Hidden gems. That's what this is. All right, so first thing we get to do on this day of relaxation and no work is hook up a washer and dryer because we finally have the RVs out here on the property. And so we're trying to get it as homey as possible partially means uh, getting the washer and dryer hooked up. Luckily, that was done by our good friend, Jared Gillis. He pretty much did everything we needed to get the RVs here. <laughs> So this is our fancy new home RV pads. We laid down all this, what's called chert. It basically turns into cheap concrete here in Tennessee. <sighs> but uh, anyways, we're pretty good here. We have Daniel's sisters, ours, and the barn, which is a mess because we're storing everything in there. We have a 40 foot shipping container coming, uh, I think in a couple of days. So we'll be able to clear all this out and get it organized and clean because we're planning to have Thanksgiving in here. But today we get to hook up this washer and dryer up here in our new electric box. Wanted to show you my gloves because I think they're really cool. And one of the highlights to uh, working like this is you get cool gloves that make you look like you're, uh, I don't know, some character in a cheap knockoff of a Star Wars movie. Where the heck's the tractor? That's what I want to know. Oh, I see it. Oh, look at this. Let's bring this back to tobacco for you folks who started following this channel for tobacco. I have two humidors here. You want one? <sighs> you can't have them. All right, I'm gonna put these in the truck. And I feel like that's good, valuable content on YouTube is watching some guy walk to his truck to put gloves away. What else would you be doing right now? Probably something really productive. Maybe changing the world. Instead, watching some guy put gloves away. Ding! This right here is what happens 90% of the time. My wife will give me a chore or something to do and I'll like need her help or it's something we're doing together and then somebody will call her and she's on the phone for the next three and a half days. And so, so I just hang out, go find something else to do. And then as soon as I start doing something else, she's like, hey, where'd you go? I need your help. And then I come back and I'm like, yeah, well, 
And that's that's all I say. I walk up, I'm like, yeah, well, and she's like, why are you so mad? And I'm like, mm, and that's, that's all you can say to your wife. You just mumble. <sighs> Wanna see all our cool wood? We have old barn wood for days and also an old table that got broke with our tractor. Look at this stuff though, it's beautiful. These logs were inside of our house. These were actually the floor joists that we pulled out and are going to use elsewhere in the house. But look at the size of some of these beams. Holy dang. There's my size 12. I mean, it's large. More wood for days. And there's more beams over there. And I don't even know what this is, or I mean, I know what it is. I don't know where it came from or what it's for or why it's over here. We have a pile there that we have to take to the dump, just dump garbage. Then once we get all this cleaned out, we're gonna start working on the barn. And this is going to be used as an event space that people can rent out and uh, do things with. We're gonna have events you can rent out and then also events on the property where you can come out and do some really cool things like drink bourbon and maybe some watch some movies or have a campfire, chit chat, all kinds of exciting things coming to the future. And back when this was a uh, only an event center, apparently this was the sign they used which is really fancy. They spent a bundle on that. And that's a tour of our junk in the barn. Look at that, more wood. There's just wood up above, down below. It's just a lot. What do you think this is? This was like a, I know what that is. It was a something that they used for something. See there, it's been at least another 10 minutes and this is the progress we've made so far. She's still on the phone. So let's look at more stuff. You know, it's one of those things. This is probably the most informative video I've ever made. Hope you're learning a lot about things and stuff. Oh, this is what we did yesterday. We have more chert coming in because it gets rid of this mud. This turns into a mud pit. So yesterday we were grading this thing out, trying to get rid of all the mud. Did a pretty good job. I think it's ready for more chert. We have to keep this clean because the guy delivering the 40 foot shipping container has to come through there. He doesn't have to, he can go wherever he wants, but. We have this all mowed out. This is where chert is, another big pile of chert is gonna go. Chert is dirt. I don't know why they don't just call it dirt, but it's like a hard packed dirt. Here's something else interesting. This is, uh, this was some of the good usable bricks from the fireplace we took down. It's probably now a snake pit. There's another big pile over there. Dang, if I was watching this video, what would I be thinking right now? I'd be thinking, man, this guy, this guy's the best YouTuber around. He's showing me piles of dirt. That's it. Pretty view though, huh? Not bad, it's gonna be good one day. One day when I'm dead, someone else takes over this project. Ooh, dark little cloud there. Anytime you say little cloud, doesn't it bring about Bob Ross? Well, I thought of a project that I can do right now while she's still on the phone that's pretty quick and easy. I need to dig that out a little bit more because as it dries, you can get more of that muddy gunk out of there because it turns into more of like harder dirt. So let's take a ride in the tractor and do some grading, A. Eh? Ooh, look how that frames up. Perfect. Well, the tractor started now. I did film this cool sequence where I went like foot on the clutch, put it in neutral, start the ignition. And then I tilted up and realized the camera was off. So we did this fancy thing where we added all kinds of more wood and beams to the box grader deal to add a little bit of weight. All right, let's grade this thing out. Doing a okay here. Well, the plan worked as soon as I started my other job. She got off the phone and was ready to move the washer and dryer, which we did. They're up and kind of installed. Just need to see if they're level. Well, it's uh, not easy to tell on this. We fixed it and she's happy. Yay! Laundry! Laundry in our mess of a barn. What a fancy place we have. Look at those authentic floors. These are the oldest floors in anywhere. Well, we fix the hair up. That's dandy. Um, you never know what's gonna happen out here. Uh, so we had uh, the guy who brings chert, he was able to bring us two more loads today. So that's what we're doing. That's what I'm doing. And while I'm also, while I'm driving, digging this chert out, uh, we also, Found out that the washing machine, it seems like it's just frozen. The water lines are frozen, so we're trying to 
get that thought out and see if that gets rid of the error, error code that we have. So, uh, you know, it's fun times. I am, however, listening to some Morgan Wallen, which uh, a good friend of mine, Greg, turned me on to. So I feel like a true, uh, true Tennessean. Feels pretty good. Just need to get Greg out here. Ah, <sighs> well, overall, not too bad. For a day off, I spent most of the day outside doing stuff, but now we're relaxed. It's pretty early, the sun's still up, so not bad. We got the pad done on this side and got the dirt dropped anyways, the shirt for what will become the pad for the shipping container. <sighs> and my post-shower hair <laughs> looks amazing. All right, thanks for watching. If you like this kind of video, want to see more updates from Blackburn, let me know in the comments. Now we'll do the things that YouTube wants you to do to let YouTube know that you like this video. Thanks for watching.